Hi guys, it's Caroline here from Not Swimpy Teacher. And if you've ever met me in person, you know for a fact, if I can do something with a game, I'm going to do it with a game. Reading, I use games. Writing, I use games. Math, I use as many games as possible. And today we're talking about games that will help your students build and master that fact fluency. Fact fluency is so important for our math students. We need our students to master those facts quickly, effortlessly, and most important, accurately. Think about the last time you asked a quick question and students immediately had to sit there and count on their fingers. Counting on our fingers is a fantastic strategy, but that strategy is not always the quickest way for students to master facts. In fact, that's not mastery at all. We want our students to have a quick recall of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division facts. And that's why we think using fact fluency games are so important. A lot of programs out there that focus on fact fluency are huge on repetition and memorization. And that's not our goal. We want to make fact fluency practice fun and engaging for your mathematicians so they don't even realize what great practice they're doing. While your students are mastering those facts in your classroom, it's going to lead to so much success for them down the road. When students can quickly and accurately compute just traditional math facts, we're not even getting crazy guys, when they can add and subtract quickly, that's going to lead to more success in higher order math skills and it's also going to help them in other subject areas. Think about those classes you start getting into in middle school and high school. Fact fluency is important in all areas beyond just math. Even now as an adult, all the time I have to use those fact fluency skills and I know you do too. I always impress my husband when I can figure out the tip on a bill super quickly. It's because I've just learned how to do that and use my understanding of numbers and fact fluency to figure it out. We want our students to be able to do the same thing. Most importantly, mastering those facts can help cut down on math anxiety. Our students are confident and they know they can do it and that's what we want. Today, I'm really excited to share with you two brand new free math games from Not So Wimpy Teacher. These games are so much fun and they focus on all four major operations. So students can practice addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division all in the same two game formats. I love this because once you teach the game, students know how to play. You're not having to reiterate instructions every single week for a new type of game. Within each game, you're also going to be getting two differentiated levels. That means with our free resource, you're getting 16 different games. I love to use these throughout the year in things like my math centers, and sometimes we break them out for our fun Fridays where students rotate through different review stations. Let's dig into these games and share how you can use them in your classroom. The first game you're getting is called Facts Go Together. This is a great option for partners and for students to play this game, you're gonna want one board to be shared between two partners. Students will color a number in each column to build a addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division fact, depending on which board they're working with. So you could color seven, five, and 35 to build a fact. The last student to build an accurate fact is your winner. I love this game because it truly is different every single time students play because it all depends on the facts that each partner is coloring. So much fun to use and if you laminate it, it's really quick for students to erase and quickly restart. This means you're not going to be getting that I'm done, what do I do next question all throughout your math block. That game is called Facts Go Together and I know your students are going to love it. The second game you're getting in this resort is called Racing Facts and this one is going to be a favorite in your classroom, I promise. Students are competitive, and as soon as you throw the word race in there, they are going to be rearing and ready to go. With racing facts, students are going to be rolling a die and solving a fact in that row. The first student to fill up an entire row of facts wins. This is another one that's really quick and easy for students to work through, have a winner, erase the board, and start over again. Because they're rolling a die, it's always random, which means students are gonna get to be practicing different facts the entire time they are playing. 
If you're still using a traditional fact fluency practice in your classroom and you're looking for more exciting ways to liven up that fact practice for your students, I promise games are a great way to do this. You want the games to be straightforward and easy for students to use. And most importantly, we want it to be easy for you to prep. Both of these games are really easy to print, laminate, and go. And I love that once they're laminated, you can continue to use them with different groups. It's also really easy to differentiate with these since they come with the two different levels. Students can even be working on different operations altogether within these games. You could have a group who's working on the addition board, a group who's already moved on to the multiplication board, maybe some high flyers who are ready to practice that division fact fluency. These games are so much fun and I'm sure your mathematicians are going to love practicing with them. If you want this free math game resource, make sure you grab it. The link is up in the cards and down in my description box. I am so excited for you to get these working in your classroom. If you're looking for other fat fluency resources, we do have some other goodies over on Teachers Pay Teachers, and our store link is down in the description box as well. When it's time for you to get these games in action in your classroom, there's a few steps we always suggest. Step one is prep. You want these to be ready go ahead of time and you want to go ahead and take the time to learn how to play. This means you're going to be the best troubleshooter for your students when they come to you with those questions. After you've prepped the games, make sure you take the time to teach the game to your students. We all know that even if a game has instructions on it, they will still come up to you and say, I don't know what to do. How do I play this? So I always like to have my students come all together on the carpet whenever I'm introducing a new game and play it with them. I model mistakes, I model the correct way to do things, and I model the behaviors I want to see for any supplies they might be using, such as rolling dice or whiteboard markers. After I've taught them the game, then I want to give them time to practice that game with a partner. Maybe do a soft launch of the game and let your students practice while you are walking around, checking in with each partner or each group to make sure they're playing correctly. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and I hope you are excited and eager to grab these links and get these games working in your classroom. If you're looking for other math content, don't worry. It is our biggest playlist here on YouTube because we love talking about math with you guys. Go check out any of our other videos and if you have anything you really want to hear more about, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I hope you have a not so wimpy day. Bye!